but it is mabni with sukoon. Uh, it means majzoom. Well, amar is majzoom. But it is mabni. It has only one form. Okay? Now, let us study this. Remember, brothers and sisters, you make fial amar from mudharya, not from madi. You make it from mudharya. Huh? Okay? And fial amar has six forms. And what are those forms? Damir Bukhatab. You can only give Amar to somebody who is in front of you. Front of you, brother. You cannot give Amar uh, to somebody who uh, is far from you. There is a different form of giving Amar to them. But the real Amar comes when somebody is in front of you. That is why, brothers and sisters, when you will understand all these things, your salat will change, brother. It will change, brother. Your feelings will change because you are understanding now. You are communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is right in front of you. We have to believe that we cannot see him, but he sees us. Remember, Allah says, I am closer to you than your chagular man. Huwa ma'akum aynama kuntum. Wherever you are, he is with you. He said that. Huwa ma'akum, he is with you. Ma'akum aynama kuntum. Wherever you are. Alright? So, brother, these are the things that we have to keep it in mind. Okay? And then understand the dialogues that are going between us and Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we are reciting our salwar. It's a direct communication with our creator. And sisters, which sometimes we, we, we bypass it because we don't know the language. Okay, Amar is only with the second person. Mukhata. So what are those second persons? Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma Antunna. Kalas, brothers and sisters. Okay. Now we come to the second part of our uh, study. And that is that fail mudarya, brothers and sisters, fail Fulasi has got six babs. Do you remember? Bab Nasara, Bab Daraba, Bab Fataha, and Bab Samia. Uh, Karuma and Hasiba. But four of them are prominent. Huh? And in the four of them, the Ain Kalima changes. Ain Kalima and with a Dhamma, Ain Kalima and with a Kasra, or Ain Kalima ends with a Fatah. Are you with me? Keep that in mind, because that will help us. Okay. Now I say to you, brothers and sisters, Kataba. What is kataba, brothers and sisters? Yaktubu. Kataba, yaktubu. Okay? And if I say to you, fataha, yaftahu. Okay? And if I say to you, daraba, yadribu. Okay? And if I say to you, samia, yasmau. Keeping those four uh, bobs in our mind, uh, we only take the mukhatab form. What do we take? Mukhatab form. Okay, brothers and sisters. Anta kataba. Anta kataba, what will become? Katapta is mahdi. We are talking about mudharya. Huh? What is it? Tak. To bu. What will be the next one? Tak tu bani. What will be next one? Tak tu buna. What will be next one? Tak tu bina. What will be next one? Tak. Tu 
Bahani. Huh? And then? No. Tak. Tupina. Huh? Are you with me? See, because you practice a little bit. Huh? I should say you practiced a lot. Inshallah. Now that's why you are easily able to identify them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, <clears throat> how do you make Amar? Huh? Look at the verb. What do you see in the verb? What is this ta? Alamatu mudariya. That is the sign of mudariya. Are you with me? Now we make Amar. So do we need the sign of Mudariya? No, we don't need it. Because if Ta is there, then that is only Mudariya. Huh? So I remove this. Are you with me? And then at the same time, Fial Amar is Majzoom. What is it? Majzoom. Can you read it now, brother? Can you read it? How can you start anything with a sukun in Arabic language? No word will begin with a sukun. No word. You cannot pronounce it. It has to have a vowel sign. No, that is not a vowel sign. It's a sukun. We cannot pronounce it. So we are stuck now. And now we have to do something. So we bring in Hamzatul Wasal. What do you bring it? Hamzatul Wasal. So then I bring Hamzatul Wasal. Are you with me? Hamzatul Wasal. I bring it. Now, in order to pronounce, I have to give Hamzatul Wasal a vowel sign. Huh? So what shall I give? Huh? Shall I give Kasra? Shall I give Fata? Shall I give Dhamma? It will all depend what is the Ain Kalima. See, that is why we have to be smart enough to know the Ain Kalima. Huh? What is the sign on Ain Kalima? If the Ain Kalima has a Dhamma, then Hamzatul Wasal gets a Dhamma. Are you with me? So what will be our sign here? Oktol. Huh? But remember, I did not write like this. I did not write like this. You know why? Well, that is Hamzatul Kata. And this is Hamzatul Wasal. That is why huh? I cannot give any sign on it. If I put here wow, what will happen now? Waktub. If there is no wow, then uktub. Are you with me? Or waktub. Okay. Those whose mother tongue is Arabic, brother, it is in their blood. They can understand. Their mind is so quick that in a fraction of a second they understand. Whether it is u. Or it is something else. Before I do that, what do I have to do? Alamat mudharia has to go away. Huh? I should have written, I should have written takrau because it is from takrau we make ikra. Maybe I should change now. But won't be difficult to change. Takrau, and also at the same time, brothers and sisters, I give here. What do I give here? What do I give here, brother? Sukun.